Hello, it's me, Brandon, again for another DVD review. But before I begin, I just gotta ask you guys, do you prefer Fruit Punch or Hawaiian Grape? Do you like this or this? Now, me, I prefer the Grape Wild Purple Smash. You know, like Fruit Juicy Red too, but I love my Purple Smash. Yeah, these are, you know, sugar-free. Or you put in water and you can still taste the Hawaiian punch. Mm, you know what these are. These are. I just felt like <laughs> doing that to you guys. I don't know. I'm crazy sometimes. Anyway, the DVD review. I'll give you a clue. It was directed by John Carpenter. No, it's not Vivid of the Dam. I already did that review. Because that's a good movie, too. I'll give you another clue. A famous professional wrestler from the 80s. Who's dead now was in this. Okay, it's They Live. You can see it. Yeah, They Live. From 1988. Universal Studios. Of course, star starring Rowdy Roddy Piper. Let's see. With uh, Keith, Keith David and Meg Foster. And Buck Flowers in it. Who you know, he's done a lot of movies playing the dumb Buck Flower. I know he's been a lot of, a lot of John Carpenter movies. But yeah, they live, you can see it right there. It's about this uh I'm gonna try to remember this right. You know, I'm not good at doing these reviews, but I'm gonna try to do my best, so please forgive me guys. It's about this drifter named uh Mater. I say Nader, played by, you know, Piper, and he's looking for work, and um, if he can't find work, work right now, he can't find work right now, so uh, here's uh, this dude played by Keith David, named Frank, he gets uh, Nader work at, on a construction site, I, I, I believe, you know, and they just hang out. Most of the time they hang out and they watch these, uh, I don't always remember that television set that has that preacher on it, like, they know they're after you or something, because I haven't really watched this movie a lot, so. But later on, they get chased out by bulldozers, the entire, um, drifters or bums or whatever. And later on, uh, Nader, he finds these, uh, a box filled with sunglasses. He puts one in the morning and he sees black and white, you know, sublibial, I'm going to try to say that word, like, let me see, no, it's not on here, I'm sorry, I'm not thinking, he finds, a, you know, some liberal, some message, messages, I can't say it right, you know what I mean, let me try it again, you know, he, he sees uh, these words on billboards, like, you know, obey, or, what else does it say, they're all in black and white, not just the Universe, the billboards are in black and white. And money that says you must reproduce, obey. What else does it say? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. Mostly just obey. And he sees, uh, he finds out there's aliens in disguise as people. And he gets freaked out. He's like taking off the glasses, putting on, you know, on and off. But he discovers the... That middle-aged guy that that's really an alien, while he's uh was reading one of these magazines that just says we produce obey, you know. And there's some cool scenes in the movie when he goes to uh, the supermarket. He sees this old lady. Uh, where the old lady who's really an alien says, <coughs> "I'm sorry, I think she says excuse me," and the Piper uh. I'm going to say Piper, he says, you know, this one's real fucking ugly. Calls that old bag, old lady, just ugly and it's funny. And then uh, later on, when he goes through a bank, he starts he starts shooting at the aliens. Of course, the other people don't realize they're aliens. He thinks he's just killing them because he's crazy. He, I remember he also discovered that cop is an alien. While they had their uh, secret microphones, only... Uh, Nader can see them with the sunglasses. He said, yo, we got him. Or, yeah. Another cool scene is where um, 
he's trying to tell uh, Frank, and Frank refuses to put the sunglasses on because he Frank knows that uh, Nader just killed those people at the bank or aliens. He doesn't know that they're real aliens; they're just people. And he Nader tries to get Frank to put on the sunglasses, and they have that big old fight. And Piper gives him, I pokes him and pins him, and he wins the match. No, that's not what happens. I'm just kidding. No, uh, Nader and Frank get into that fight, and one scene, uh, Nader he punches Frank out. He said, keeps telling him, put on the glasses. But the fight is eventually over, and Frank, uh, he puts on the glasses, and he sees the aliens, so he now believes Nader's story. There's another scene where he meets this, uh, and he takes this Lady, what was her name? Holly, uh, played by uh, uh, Meg Foster, takes this woman hoss as a hostage. Hostage. Hold on, let me see if I can say that word right. You know how I am. Hostage. So he takes her as a hostage, and she, uh, I, I believe she, she throws him out of the window. I can't remember, but uh. You know, because she probably thinks it's crazy. Later on, uh, you see a Buck Flowers character, the Drifter. He's on the alien side. And uh, later on, I think... Uh, I know uh, the character's name. I can't remember. Yeah, Holly. She's working for the aliens, I believe, near the end of the movie. And she, tr she kills uh, Frank. And she tries to convince... Uh, Nader, just to let it go, please, we can't win this battle. And, uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, there's other cool, scene, cool scenes at the end of the movie. Uh, I like where uh, they had that Cisco and Ebert, and uh, they were actually aliens. And uh, I love when uh, Nader sees them, and he, you know, he sees the politician guy running for office, and he's really an alien in disguise. And he said, and Piper uh, Nader says, I knew you. That has to be, uh, you know, whatever. I can't remember, but, uh... No, he says, ah, figures. And, uh, when, uh, Nader blows that satellite dish, and now the rest of the world world can see the aliens, especially that news ca uh, caster, where that guy says, Jamie, or whatever her name is, you're ugly as hell, or you, you look like, no, you look like shit. And she says, what's wrong? And, uh, at the end of the movie, this is my favorite. Spoiler alert! I just got. I, I gotta talk about this scene. It, it, it's just one of my favorite scenes at the end of the movie, when the the rock star lady and the rock star guy who was in a mu music video together, who was in a music video together, they were having sex. And when she, while they were, you know, when she sees uh, her boyfriend or whatever, the rock star guy on the television set, and she. Ducks down, and the alien rock star guy says, Hey, what's wrong, baby? And that's the end of the movie. I'm sorry, I just had to tell you that scene. But yeah, check out They Live, directed by John Carpenter. That's all I'm going to say. It's just a. It's really a cool sci fi horror comedy action movie of the 80s. Carpenter is a good director. He did a Halloween Street. I know a lot of people didn't like Halloween Street because of no Michael Myers. He did direct The Village of the Den. And, uh, of course, Escape from New York. I wonder if he... Did he direct the, uh, Escape from L.A., the sequel to Escape from New York, you know, with Kurt Wilson and Snake Plissken? That's a cool movie, too. Anyway, I'm about to end this video. I just felt like talking about They Live because, uh, Although it's not my all-time favorite movie, I think I think it I think it's one of the coolest alien action movies, and I love uh, Piper's acting. I don't know how you feel about Rowdy Piper's acting. I, his acting is cool. Later on, um, at WrestleMania Five, I think the Brother Love was making fun of Piper's acting. You know, I'm an actor now. I'm not the way her Brother Love, played by Bruce Pritchard, Bruce, Bruce Pritchard. At WrestleMania 5, because uh, this came out, they live, it came out in November of 88, uh, if I remember. 
And then a year later in March or April 1989, that's when they did WrestleMania 5. So they were making fun of Piper's acting in his movie They Live at WrestleMania 5. That was cool. That's all I'm going to say. And please, I'm sorry. And please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. You don't have to like me. You don't have to respect me. Come on, people. I need more subscribers. Please subscribe to my channel. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Check out Daily from 1988. Oh, and check out the same. Village of the Dam and Virus. They're all cool movies, too. I already did Village of the Dam. I didn't do the same or, or Virus. I watched the same... It wasn't my all-time favorite movie, but I might review it someday. I haven't seen Virus yet. I wish, uh... The other, well, this is from Universal Studios. I wish Alien with Sigourney Weaver was in this. I haven't seen that movie in years. Anyway, that's it. I'm at the end of the review.